court called at about nine o'clock that night to say goodnight to the boys. He was coming home from a business trip. And about an hour later, I knew that he should have landed by then. Next thing I know, my phone rings. It's the emergency room at Mamal Herman Medical Center. And he said, well, he's been in a plane crash and he has severe head trauma. How quickly can you get here? I've been flying for 20 years. When the plane uh, wouldn't settle down, I decided to go around. As I put the power back in, the flaps back up, I tried to climb out, it wasn't climbing. I believe that the wind changed directions on me. And then I began to hear trees at the bottom of the plane. And I knew at that point that I was in, in big trouble. I yelled out to the top of my lungs, God, please save me. At that point in time, I blacked out. After 21 days when they woke him up, they literally turned off the propofol. He woke up within three minutes and didn't know what had happened to him. And the first thing he said when the doctors left the room, he looked at me and he said, I'm so sorry. I promise I'll find a new hobby. Maybe I'll take up stamp collecting. I'm not trying to say that the crash and coming through that made me special. In fact, it humbled me. It also taught me something, family and faith always come first, but up there is service. Court has always worked in public service. He's always been a servant. He has a servant's heart. Our party is in desperate need for new and fresh ideas and leadership. We're a party that's going to withstand time and we need to make sure that we have the next generation ready to serve. Now's the time to give back. He's been given a second chance at life and has the opportunity to help and to solve a problem. And with new and fresh ideas, he's, he's the right leader for that. This office is in dire need of someone with strong leadership skills, the ability to be able to solve problems. Frankly, we're moving into a time where technology is driving public service. It's a huge operation, $30 million budget, 600 employees. You need someone who has the ability to be able to manage an operation of that size. So I'm excited about the opportunity. Uh, I'm excited about the challenges that it presents. And I'm excited about some of the things that we can do to move this office forward.